Hey guys, Tyler here. When it comes to alien species in the Star Wars universe, few are more iconic than the Wookiees, a species of tall, hairy humanoids native to the planet Kashyyyk. Wookiees have played vital roles in the Clone Wars, the Galactic Civil War between the First Galactic Empire and the Rebel Alliance, and subsequently the war against the First Order. Wookiees are very strong, even known to rip people's arms from their sockets when provoked. But despite being from a temperate planet known for vast swamps and endless tropical jungles, they can be quite comfortable on icy worlds without any protective clothing. What makes Wookiees so adaptable? Today, I'll explore this and other questions about this alien species. Let's get started. In order to get a better grasp on Wookiees' evolutionary history, we first need to examine their homeworld. Kashyyyk, also known to some humans in the core worlds as Planet Wookiee C, is a densely forested planet orbiting a single star in the Materanor sector of the galaxy's mid-rim. In the ancient past, four millennia before the Battle of Yavin, Kashyyyk was discovered by the Cherka Corporation, an arms manufacturer, which enslaved the Wookiee population for about six decades. Kashyyyk later became a member of the Galactic Republic, before subsequently enduring slavery again under the Galactic Empire. The planet was finally liberated with the help of the New Republic forces led by Han Solo. The Wookiee people are often hated by their neighbors, the Trandoshans, a sapient species of reptilian humanoids who are renowned throughout the galaxy as great but brutish hunters, originating from the fourth planet in Kashyyyk's star system, and separated from Kashyyyk by the Grill asteroid belt. As far as the planet's orbital characteristics, Kashyyyk is the third planet of a seven-planet star system, situated some 32,000 light-years from the galactic core. Kashyyyk, like Tatooine, has three moons. Having no axial tilt in a perfectly circular orbit, the planet C does not experience seasonal weather changes. Its central latitudes are covered with a tropical ocean belt that contains numerous islands and sprawling coral reefs. Most of Kashyyyk's landmass, which comprises 40% of the planet's surface, is covered in colossal rocher, <laughs> colossal rocher trees a species of giant, long-lived conifers. Rochers form the backbone of a complex, multi-layered vertical ecosystem that extends from their roots to their crown, and rochers are integral to the lives of Wookiees, who refer to themselves as the people of the trees. And indeed, Wookiees still make use of rocher trees, as they are so immense that entire communities can live inside their enormous trunks. This gives us a clue that Wookiees evolved from an arboreal creature, not too dissimilar from our distant primate ancestors. Think about what types of animals the Wookiees might have evolved from. Are they giant dogs? Bears? Sasquatch? Okay, maybe they do slightly resemble the latter, but let's dig a little deeper. Wookiees are clearly mammals, if nothing else judging by their thick fur. The common ancestor of all carnivorous mammals is believed to have lived approximately 55 million years ago. This arboreal creature, which probably looked like a cross between a cougar and a squirrel, likely emerged around the same time that early primates were diversifying. But Wookiees, like humans, are omnivores, and the most up-to-date reconstruction of mammal evolution suggests that primates are more closely related to rodents than members of the order Carnivora. So, what this means is that Wookiees, possessing characteristics of multiple quasi-mammalian orders, invariably went down their own unique evolutionary path. I know, for an alien species, shocking. Wookiees can grow to a height of nearly 3 meters, but on average are somewhere between 2 and 2.5 and meters tall. They are covered from head to toe by a thick, shaggy coat of water-resistant hair reminiscent of the coats of sloths that comes in shades of brown, black, gray, tan, and white. Wookiees have two sexes, male and female. The former grows long beards in adult life and weighs, on average, 150 kilograms, while the females on average weigh 100 kilograms. Wookiee eye color ranges from blue to brown. 
Wookiees are big eaters, with the average adult requiring 3,500 to 6,000 calories a day, the same calorie range that includes NASA astronauts at one end and Hugh Jackman training for the Wolverine at the other. For comparison, Bengal tigers are said to consume about 6,500 calories a day. The highest compliment a Wookiee can give someone is to groom them. Despite the Wookiee's fearsome appearance and volatile temperament, they are regarded as intelligent, sophisticated, loyal, and trusting. When angered, Wookiees are known to descend into a berserker rage. Wookiee's average lifespan is 400 standard years, with one standard Coruscant year being 365 days, 24 standard hours each. However, Kashyyyk's rotation period, or in other words, its day, is 26 standard hours long, like the case of Bajor in Star Trek. And its orbital period, meaning, well, its year, is 381 local days, or 413 standard days, long, meaning Kashyyyk orbits further away from its star than Earth or Coruscant do from their suns, in accordance with Kepler's third law of planetary motion. This means that Wookiees' average life expectancy is actually some 354 of their own years. When male Wookiees turn 12 years old, they undergo initiation rituals to enter adulthood. During their prime growing years, Wookiees are often hungry, forcing them to eat whenever they can. Wookiees can learn to understand various languages like Galactic Basic Standard, but are physically incapable of speaking them due to their unusual vocal cords. To those who have not learned Shiriwook, one of the three Wookiee languages, they seem to speak in a series of growls and purrs. Occasionally, some Wookiees, like the youngling Gunji, can be revealed to be Force-sensitive and even join the ranks of the Jedi Order, a source of great pride for their people. The word Wookiee first originated with George Lucas's feature-length directorial debut, the movie THX 1138, in a line ad-libbed by Terry McGovern. I think I just ran over a Wookiee. Unsurprisingly, Chewbacca, played by Peter Mayhew, was the very first Wookiee to appear on screen in the first Star Wars film in 1977. Shocking piece of trivia, I know. Kashyyyk was first introduced in the 1978 Star Wars Holiday Special, though this appearance, and presumably everything else in that god-awful piece of media, has been relegated to non-canon. <laughs> all, the, all the masturbation. Oh, oh, we are excited, aren't we? Thus, Kashyyyk's first canonical appearance was in 2005 with Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Phuket, Thailand, and Galeen, China were reportedly locations scouted for Revenge of the Sith to capture plate photography for Kashyyyk backdrops. In early versions of Star Wars Episode VI Return of the Jedi, the second Death Star was supposed to be built in orbit of Kashyyyk, and the construction was to be done primarily by Wookiee laborers. Lucas decided to switch the Death Star's location to the Forest Moon Indoor, with the Wookiees being replaced by the Ewoks. As for whether or not this was a good creative decision, I'll leave that for you to decide. I obviously focused mainly on the Wookiees' biology and culture rather than their detailed history in this video, but I hope that it did serve as a decent overview of how this alien species has adapted to the environment of their homeworld, as well as how they compare to other species in the Star Wars galaxy. Having said that, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below and don't forget to share it. That stuff really helps me out. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that as well so you won't miss future uploads and click the bell icon to receive all notifications. If you want to support my work even further, becoming a patron or a member is a great way to do so. Links to those as well as my social media and merch store are in the description. That's all I have for this week. May the force be with you.